Hey, I'm Falcon. This video is going to run you through how to get your breastplate of the chromatic flight. Okay, so there is a very rare drop that happens here off of GIF or GIF, however you want to pronounce it. It's called the chromatic carapace. So I got this not really realizing what to do with it. Because right after this room, after you kill Gith and kill Ren Blackhand, and you go into the next room, which you'll see here, you actually have to talk to this tiny little blue dragon named Obby. And he's like kind of hanging off the ledge there a little bit. And you get a quest that doesn't really intuitively make sense that you have to talk to this dragon in order to get to the next steps to turn your chromatic carapace into the breastplate of chromatic flight. So here's Abby in between these two orc thugs. And really he is so easy to miss because not only is he tiny, but in addition to that, these two mobs, sometimes you just skip over them when you're running through Ubers. So. You'll see here on this quest line that you actually talk to him first before there even appears to be a quest for him. And you get the matron protectorate, which doesn't really tell you anything other than go to winter spring and you're going to talk to the same night elf that you talk to for the Onyxia attunement. So if you can kill two birds with one stone, this is absolutely a great opportunity to do so. Winter Spring is a beautiful place. The only problem is this cave as the real. You'll find yourself dealing with a lot of blue elite dragons. If you don't have a group to help you through here, uh, you have a couple options. You can A, of course, find a group. B, corpse run like I do, or uh, C, be a class like a rogue or a hunter or a priest or something that uh, can keep you alive long enough to dodge all these mobs so that you can get on the blue little teleportation device to get up to the night elf that you have to talk to. There's also another option that involves some series of jumps. I haven't been able to do this successfully. People have told me about it, but I just haven't been able to pull it off. So. Here's my method. My method to at least reduce the amount of times that I have to corpse run is I use an invisibility potion coupled with my rocket boots and my nifty stopwatch. One thing that I forgot is that utilizing them after you utilize the stealth will actually break you out of stealth. So I did it properly at the beginning where I initiated my ro rocket boots and then took the invisibility potion. The only problem is the rocket boots don't always work all the way. And they didn't this time. And I clicked on my nifty stopwatch and it took me out of stealth, which as you can see, now I got a bunch of dragons on me and I end up having to corpse run to the teleporter. Lucky for me, I actually had that horde group scenario happen here, or it could have been an alliance group, but a group that was clearing this already. So I actually died in the perfect place to be able to just accept my res, keep running, and not have to deal with any of the respawns. As you can see, there was still a ways to go from where I did die, and then there were two additional uh, bigger dragons in here that don't really drop anything good. Uh, but you can see the blue little teleporter here. You run to that, stand on it for a second, and it's going to teleport you up to the night elf that you're supposed to talk to. So up here, you talk to her. Make sure if you have the attunement quest that you finish that first, because when you do this obby quest line, that's going to get you the breastplate. She warns you that she's going to basically send you off and then she kicks you. You get a little bit confused because you end up landing like in the mountain because it takes a while for you actually to teleport to Western Plaguelands. But this brings me to another really good point. 
if you do this stuff backwards like I did, make sure you have all your materials in your bags before you get kicked to Western Plaguelands. I ended up having to fly all the way back to get all my stuff, then all the way back out to Western Plaguelands to actually turn in the quest. So if you have to fly back or you're you have all your mats and you're flying in. The turn in is in Western Plaguelands, fly to Chillwind. And then this is the route that I take uh, to avoid mobs and get to the building where Chromie and the quest giver are. So this footage is gonna look a little bit different just because I already have all the materials here. If you follow this step by step and you are first time going here, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to turn in that quest that you got from the Obby quest line. Hopefully you don't have any mobs that you have to deal with. Then Jaziba is going to tell you to look at this book. The book is right behind her. As you can see, the catalog of the wayward and you're going to be able to choose the item that you want to take the quest for. Of course, the purpose of this is the breastplate of the chromatic flight. So we're going to take that quest. And since I have all the mats, I get to turn them in here, but I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on where to get the rest of the mats here, as well as a little trick to help farm Blood of Heroes in the Plague Lands. Blood of Heroes, this is one of the most painful parts of this quest, mainly because there are brand kind of scattered about the plague lands. And when you grab them, one to two elites have a horrible stun and slow will kill you. So what I did to at least ease the pain of finding the blood of heroes is, of course, I looked it up online again because that's just my modus operandi. And I compiled a list of coordinates that I received from there. Then I also realized that my add-on TomTom -tom that helps me get back to my body when I die, this add-on can also be programmed in a way where you can set up custom waypoints on the map. So I put those waypoints or those commands into a macro so I can start at point at the beginning, follow all the waypoints to the end, hit my macro again, and just rinse and repeat essentially. And doing that enough times with enough corpse runs back to my body, I ended up getting all my blood of heroes. Now, one trick I found, of course, when I gathered my last blood of hero was that if I actually use my defensive abilities, as long as there was only one hero or one elite that popped, I could run away and shield block long enough to stay alive. Afraid abomination stitchings. These are found in Stratholm on the dead side from these abominations here. These are probably the most painful and difficult piece to get, mainly because each instance only drops about one to three of them, and they are bind on pickup. So I think I had to run Stratholm dead about, I think probably 10 to 15 times to actually get all the stitchings that I actually needed. The chromatic carapace drops in here off of Gith, Rend Blackhand's dragon. There's no point in farming any of the other materials until you have this, but once you do, you want to start saving the brilliant chromatic scales that also drop in here. These are probably the easiest to obtain just because they're not bind on pickup. So anyone who gets them can trade them with you or of course you can buy them off the auction house. So here you can see a brilliant chromatic scale dropping. Um, I didn't actually have the chromatic carapace at this time so I didn't need it, but it's going to drop here afterwards. So here's the fight with Rend and his dragon. So Gith is going to get burned down first and then Rend hops off of his dragon and you burn him down afterwards. Um, the dragon actually doesn't die completely before Rend hops off. So you wanna make sure that you maintain on that dragon and burn him down before 
you completely switch over to Rend. So this footage here is actually where we're killing the orcs that I need to kill in order to talk to Abi. I didn't know that I needed to talk to him. So we kill these guys and move on with the instance. However, what you really need to do, as I showed before, is talk to that dragon, start the quest line so that you can properly talk to the people in Winter Spring and Western Plague Lands. So there you have it. This hopefully was helpful. Once you get that chromatic carapace drop off of Gith, the dragon that Ren Blackhand rides in Upper Blackrock Spire, you get the quest from that blue dragon on the ledge in the next room named Abi. He's on the ground. Then you go to Winter Spring through that Mazthril cave or do the jump method if you know how to do that to talk to Halle. Then they will boot you over to Western Plague Lands. You can then talk to Jaziba in Andor Hall in Western Plague Lands. Read the book behind him to get the quest and then you can start to collect the materials. The Freight Abomination stitchings are in Stratholm Undead side. Find on pickup. Then you get the chromatic dragon scales, the brilliant chromatic scales from Upper Blackrock Spire again. So you'll either have to run that multiple times or buy them off the auction house. And then the Blood of Heroes is in the Plague Lands and hopefully that macro and add-on Tom Tom are helpful to you so that you can more easily farm that as well. And once you're done with that, you just go turn it in and voila, you have the breastplate of chromatic flight. If this was helpful to you, uh, please like and subscribe, follow us on our other socials, maybe even come out and play with us sometime. Thank you again and peace.